Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada off Canvas Builder. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. The Avada off Canvas Builder allows you to create a huge range of off canvas panels, such as pop ups, advanced modals, and fly out and push menus directly in Avada without the need for any third party plugins. To get started, just head to off canvas from the off canvas link on the Avada dashboard or from the Avada sidebar menu. It's from here you can build and configure your off canvas items. I've imported the Avada Builder pre built site here, and I'm going to set up a new off canvas for this site. I'll call this one Subscription Sidebar, and I'll click on Create New Off Canvas. Based on your Avada Builder auto activation settings, found at Avada Dashboard Options Builder Options, this will open in your choice of builder. Mine opens in Avada Live. In this case, the first thing I see is a choice to add a container and start building from scratch, or to open Avada Studio and import a pre-built off canvas from there. Avada Studio is a great place to start. There are a large number of pre-built off canvas items here you can import, and these come fully designed and pre-configured. This is a great way for you to familiarize yourself with the different types of off canvases you can create, as well as how you can configure them. Simply select the one you want, and it will be imported ready for you to customize. You can filter to pop-ups or sliding bars or a whole range of content-based terms. I want a subscription sliding bar, so I'll just filter to subscriptions, and I'm going to choose this sliding bar off canvas here. If I just click on it to preview, I can adjust the import settings to match the content. I'll just make sure it's on local colors and typography and click import. The off canvas content gets imported into the site and loads in the off canvas builder fully customized. As we can see in the page options position on the sidebar, we now have the off canvas options. With these options, we configure the off canvas as to how it works and set basic design options. And we can use all the elements of the Avada builder to create our actual off canvas content. The settings tab is just for the off canvas name and slug. So let's take a step back and look at all the tabs. There are quite a few, covering all aspects of off canvas design and functionality. The next tab, the preview tab, is useful if you have any dynamic content in the actual off canvas. But I don't need that here, so let's go to the next one. This is the general tab, and here you set basic configuration. This off canvas is a sliding bar, and we can see how it's configured to be initially closed, positioned on the right, and it's using a push transition, which pushes the page content across when it opens. There are also some width, layout, and alignment options under these. The next tab is Design, and here you can set basic design parameters for the off canvas as a whole, including background color as you can see here, or background image, scroll bars, borders, margins, padding, and box shadows. This one has a slight box shadow going on. The Overlay tab controls the overlay for the page background and is very simple to configure. If I turn it off, you can see having an overlay brings focus to the off canvas, so it's a good thing to set. The next tab, Close, controls how the off canvas closes, and here there are a range of options for full flexibility. You can close on Overlay or Anchor Click, and with the Escape key, but also after a certain amount of time. You can offer a Close button, you can control its position and when it will appear, as well as controlling the Close icon itself. The Animation tab comes next, with entrance and exit animation options. And then come conditions, triggers, and rules, which are very powerful and allow you to specify a whole bunch of things regarding where, when, and how the off canvas opens and closes. Let's have a look at these. Conditions are disabled by default, which means the off canvas is not active initially, as this controls where on the site the off canvas is used. By clicking on yes, it's active, and by default it displays on the entire site. You can also manage the conditions of where the off canvas will be used, of course. And if we look at this dialog, we can see it's the same one as used for Avada layouts. The sliding bar is also governed by the triggers and rules. If we go to triggers, we can see none of these have been set. And there are a variety of ways you can get the off canvas to show, depending on the type. A pop up will be treated very differently than a flyout menu, for example. This off canvas is a sliding bar and we could decide to trigger this in many different ways. Exit Intent is probably the most common trigger for subscription forms like this, so I'll enable that. But in this case, 
I might also set it to trigger after a certain amount of time. So I'll just enable time on page and then set a value. Let's say four seconds. The rules tab comes next and this one controls a range of rules including scheduling the publication of the off canvas, the frequency it displays, the number of page views or sessions before it shows, having it display based on where users are coming from or whether users are logged in or not, and even what device they are on. As you can see, with the combination of conditions, triggers and rules, it's a very powerful control system. The last three tabs are standard page option tabs like code fields, custom CSS, and import export. These are more for advanced users, but that last tab would for example be useful to export these off canvas options for reuse on another off canvas. And then we have the off canvas content of course. You can add anything you want here using the Avada Builder, so the content is entirely up to you. In this case we have an image at the top, a title and some text, and an Avada form which was imported with the off canvas. For an off canvas like this we'd also have to go and configure the form as well. Of course if we didn't like this off canvas we could just clear the layout and import another one from Avada Studio or build our own. Instead let's save this and come to the front end and refresh the page. And after four seconds here comes our sliding bar pushing out from the right. Okay that's it. Off canvases are very flexible and can be used in a huge variety of ways. In related off canvas videos, I walk you through how to build a number of off canvases from scratch, from pop ups to fly out and push menus. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.